Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below so that you'll never miss another upload. In today's video, I did wanna talk a little bit about why I don't relax my hair and why I would not relax my hair ever again. So just a little bit of background, my last relaxer was August of 2017. So that's a little bit over five years. So yeah, I've been relaxer free for quite some time now. Currently I am a straight natural or heat trained natural, um, but I still very much have my curl pattern, my hair reverts back. So it is very healthy. So around 2017, I did decide that I did want to look into having a hair transplant. Um, traction alopecia is something that I have gone through since high school, my 11th grade year of high school, which was like the late 90s, so a very long time ago. Traction alopecia happened because of tight styles and, you know, micro braids and things like that that I did when I was younger. And my edges were pretty bad. Pretty bad. I will put some pictures on the screen. My edges were pretty bad. You know, they were like thinned out a lot. I was balding, mostly on the right side of my hairline at the front, like there was a portion that was missing from my hairline. So it was just like bald and then it was like thin in between here. It was just a mess. And you know, I found a place that I wanted to go to. I spoke to a doctor and he said, yes, I would be a good candidate for a hair transplant. You know, I asked him about the relaxers and he's like, yeah, yeah, you can't be like relaxing your hair when you go through this process. You have to wait a full year for your scalp to heal if you did want to put relaxers on your hair again. So my mindset in the beginning was that I wanted to have this hair transplant, but I did want to go back to relaxers. So I did fully intend at the time to go back to relaxers once I went through the whole process of having a hair transplant. So I got the hair transplant probably around August of 2018. So I had to shave my whole entire edges um, all around my hairline. Even where there was hair, I had to shave that off. And also the donor area, which was right around the back portion, it kind of shaved my head in the back, kind of like from ear to ear, kind of like in that section. So I had that portion back there that was completely shaved as well. So um, yeah, that's something that I wanted to commit to to try to get my edges back. So I went through that whole process, you know, and as I'm waiting, you know, for my scalp to heal and the hair grow back and things like that, I just kept thinking, um, should I really be thinking about putting a relaxer on my hair after going through all of this. So I started really thinking about it. I'm like, the, the, you know, hair transplant and having a relaxer in my head just don't go together. It just doesn't seem like I should be doing this ever again. Like, I mean, if I want my edges to really be healthy, my scalp to be healthy, then I don't need to be getting a relaxer. So I committed to just, you know, saying, you know, forget the relaxers, I'm just gonna transition to the point to where I feel comfortable and then I'm gonna big chop. So basically I transitioned for two years from August of 2017 to August of 2019. So two years. By then, you know, my hair had already grown back around my edges and in the back where they shaved it. So I was comfortable big chopping. So I did go ahead and do my big chop in August of 2019. So ever since then, I have not looked back. I'm like, I definitely would not put a relaxer on my hair. My hair right now, my hair on my head right now compared to when I was relaxed is night and day. It's completely different. My hair is so much healthier. When I was relaxed, my hair was constantly breaking off and shedding. And I did get so far my relaxed hair journey. I got to about mid back length, but my hair just always kept shedding and shedding and shedding and shedding. I remember going to the hair salon and my hair dresser's like, um, 
your hair shedding a lot and I just would just be like why is my hair shedding she's probably like honestly it's probably the relaxer that's making your hair shed you know just recently I discovered probably the beginning of this year I discovered why not be a straight natural you know I'm not putting chemicals in my hair and I'm using the heat kind of in a healthy manner I'm using heat once per month I'm not going crazy with heat it's a balance for me. I was relaxed for over 20 years and getting relaxers if you think about it like back then it was like okay you have to get relaxers every six to eight weeks like that's the rule that we went by back in the day it was every six to eight weeks that's what we did and I followed that trend you know up until like adulthood I mean I think I maybe stretched to about every 10 weeks but that's still really often and I understand people now are relaxing their hair every like two times a year three times a year they're they're doing it less often than what we did back in the day and that's great and your hair is probably a lot healthier than mine was but at the end of the day yeah that just wasn't a healthy process and that's why I was seeing all those issues with my hair like all the shedding and the breakage and why you know my hair just couldn't stay at one length successfully without breaking off so for me just being a straight natural is a balance for me it makes me happy I don't have to put chemicals in my scalp anymore and the thing with me like I always had burning in my scalp I've got scabs back when I was relaxed you know redness to my scalp you know just just the going back to relaxing and like the burning of the scalp that's what I don't like I don't like it you know and that's what we grew up with back in the day you need to take this relaxer in your scalp because it's going to make your hair more straighter you know that's what you know I remember being a kid and my my scalp's on fire and my cousins are just like sitting around me like, you gotta take the burn. You gotta take the burn of the relaxer. It's gonna make your hair straighter. And that's what we went by back in the day. And I also don't feel like it's necessary for me to put a relaxer in my hair because, you know, I remember being relaxed. And this is what we did. We got a relaxer. We got our hair blow dried. And we got a flat iron, like all in the same day. Like, and that's a lot. Not only are you using chemicals, but you're also using a ton of heat. And I feel like now I'm just like cutting out one really big, huge thing, which is the chemical. And now I'm just using heat in moderation. So it's such a much more healthier choice for me. And I'm so happy with the fact that, you know, I don't get relaxers anymore. And honestly, if I didn't get a hair transplant in the first place, I probably would still be relaxed because I felt like getting a hair transplant just, I mean, it made me not get a relaxer anymore because I couldn't get a relaxer anymore. So it was kind of like a blessing for me just to even, you know, get that hair transplant, even though it didn't come out necessarily how I wanted it to come out. It kind of led me into healthy hair and a more healthier lifestyle with the choices and the things that I do to my hair. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about relaxing your hair and what you think about many women going back to relaxers. Do you agree with that or do you um, disagree with it? But let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.